Hi guys, uh, in this video I will be showing you the steps to fix uh, the issue with the LCD or the LED display wherein you see some white spots appearing on the screen. Uh, I had done a video last year but I had not uh, sort of uh, gone into depth. Uh, this time around I have provided uh, all the steps which are which are you know which are needed or required to get the display apart and uh, uh, get it back together because uh, as I said in the earlier video which you know which I had uh, uploaded a year ago uh, fixing the thing isn't much of a task but taking the display apart and you know reassembling it back together that is the main thing and uh, the, uh, I had basically sort of taken the display apart six months ago way back in June but I screwed it up big time uh, what happened was uh, I, after uh, getting sticking the reflector back onto the LED strip I was reassembling the whole thing and while doing so uh, you know uh, because of the way you know uh, I was handling the entire display the COF connector which is you know down at the bottom there are two uh, sort of connectors which basically connect the display with the motherboard I uh, sort of uh, you know I might have uh, uh, taken the C one of the COF connected apart and it was not the entire connector just a minor bit but that was good enough to uh, sort of make the uh, the left half of the display in turn go, go entirely black so the other half was working fine but the left half was completely black and we were uh, because of the lockdown here in india we were not able to approach any technicians because uh, it it uh, that that part the cf connector is something that cannot be fixed with a glue with glue or anything i uh, researched on the internet watched videos it requires special equipment so if something of that sort something of that sort happens in your case then you are screwed or uh, big time unless you go to some uh, technician you know who can who has the relevant equipment to fix that or basically to bond the connector back to the led panel uh, you won't be able to the, the the display is the tv is basically garbage if <clears throat> that stuff is not available at your disposal so after the lockdown <clears throat> i'm sorry after the lockdown i managed to track uh, a technician of ours and he uh, uh, he <clears throat> he went ahead and uh, fixed it but he has not given us any guarantee as to you know how long it would work uh, because uh, <clears throat> the, the 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 way the cof connector wo connector works it is a very uh, delicate thing you can do uh, google it out so uh, but he took uh, you know he took a substantial substantial amount to fix the tv so uh, nonetheless it's been working from the past two hours uh, two months or so uh, but the bottom line is I went to fix something and I basically screwed up something else so uh, the gist of the story is uh, TLDR as they say is uh, if you're not sure don't go for it get someone uh, who is qualified to do it in the first place because uh, trust me uh, fixing the COF connector bit is not easy and uh, you'll basically be dumping the uh, television uh, you know for such a uh, for something as trivial as, as uh, replacing the LED strips because what he told the technician told me was they don't go about sticking glue to the to the reflector or other gluing the reflectors back on the board rather they rip apart the entire strip and replace it with new ones that's how they fix it because as you can see over here the white spot is appearing again so it's not uh, not even been six months so it might be some other LED reflector that might have or other the reflector might have come up it's not apparent as of now but it is there I can so probably uh, one or two months down the line it would be you know you'll see a, a quite a huge bright spot over here uh, so that that's the message that I wanted to uh, you know uh, send across over here if you're not sure don't go for it guys get some technician to fix your TV 
but if you're sure uh, then you know if you have some confidence if you've done it because i had done it last time around last year and that's the reason why i felt confident enough to tear it apart because i know what what all goes into it but i still managed to screw it up so uh please go ahead and do it or fix it on uh, at your own discretion i know it is very tempting to fix it it is a cheap fix but uh, there is this risk associated with it so i'll go ahead and uh, uh, add the steps that were needed to basically tear the tv apart and fix it 